economizers with the plastic gears where the center square drive of the gear cracks. A few of us have ran into these in Home Depots recently. I came up with a solution here, and it's to basically take this actuator. This gear on this unit's broke. I'm just going to move it down to this gear. I'm just going to move it down one gear because this gear is good. So I'm going to take this assembly off, turn it, but you have to... This motor turns right now, drives clockwise, and this blade needs to be driven counterclockwise. So when I take this motor and turn it this way, I also have to flip the motor over. So it'll, the motor's going to drive the same internal direction, but it'll, by flipping the motor over, you can make a, uh, an actuator run backwards or drive something backwards. So I'm just going to show you guys how I did this. It's a pretty, pretty quick and easy little fix. This is the third one we've done today, along with some other things. Pull these two screws out here. The whole unit just comes right out. You can see the crack in the gear across the center of that gear right there. And so I'm just going to move it down to this one. I'm going to unplug the cord from here. I'm going to take this actuator and set it up here on my little bench. And uh, swap it over. This is the way it spring returns. I'm just going to flip it to the other side so it spring returns the other way. Now to do that, I just got to flip the little gear. I don't have to, but it makes it easier to install it. So if I pull that clip, slide this out on one side, slide it in the other side. I'm noting that it's straight and square. That's how it came out. Now I just got to snap this clip on the other side, set the actuator back down, run my two bolts back down into it, close here guys there's a slot here you guys have all noticed where that comes out of all right guys as I was putting this back together uh, yesterday I said that this notch wasn't a problem uh, I talked to another technician today Nate uh, who's doing a unit similar to this in northern Minnesota and their unit on the Lennox back behind here has a divider that divides the outdoor air from the indoor air, a little plate, and that's why Lennox has this notch on some units. On my unit, I don't have that divider. So this doesn't bother me to have this notch or not have the notch, if you guys understand what I'm saying. This notch is for a plate that sits here, so it has to have some clearance. I'm turning this actuator like this, and on my unit, it slides right in there. But on your unit, you might have to notch out this side just like that side. You can draw a line across, draw a line across, take your angle grinder, cut, cut, make a notch, and just cut this piece off. Quick and easy, guys.
locked in. So now all I've done, guys, is uh, just make a hole and re-secure it because there's not a hole on the side. It's the opposite side of the plate, guys, but don't let that bother you so long as the shaft is lined up. It's just an actuator. Basically the gist of it, and then you just gotta sneak the cord back down through and plug it in. Now, unfortunately, guys, on this unit, I can't test run it because we're waiting for a blower motor. This motor is plugged up in this unit, so I can't show you how it runs. But I've got a little video of one of the other ones for after I finished it. You can see the actuator turned nice and smooth, but that's just that pretty quick and easy little project. Uh, the, the problem is, as many of you guys know, is Lennox doesn't sell these gears anymore. You can slide the economizer partially out, take this plate off, and you can take this back wall off, and you can move one of these gears to another spot. But as you guys notice, there's one, two, three, four, five, six gears, or six blades in here. It was on the third one down from the top, now it's on the third one up from the bottom. So we haven't changed geometry or anything. Just moved it down one blade, flipped the motor over. The wiring is exactly the same. The unit will run you know, flawlessly at this point. So hope that helps, guys. Have a good day. Bye.